All life is a journey, a journey with an ultimate destination that is not predetermined, but rather one which we must consciously, clearly, and committedly choose. This is why the Samuel D. Witt Proctor Conference in partnership with McCormick Theological Seminary and Virginia Union University Center for African American History and Culture has chosen to initiate this year's traditional pre-conference to its major clergy and lay leadership conference with a Journeys to Justice series. So family, we invite you to journey with us beginning this Sunday, February 21st at 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, as Proctor brings together two quintessential thought leaders, the Reverend Dr. James Forbes and Dr. John Meacham, to address the poignant theological queries can these bones live? And where do we go from here? In addition to this event being co-hosted by Proctor's General Secretary, the Reverend Dr. Iva E. Carruthers and American Baptist College's President, Dr. Forrest E. Harris Sr., we will be blessed to hear from Georgia's newly elected Senator to Congress, the Reverend Dr. Raphael Warnock. We will pray for and celebrate him as well as our first ever elected woman, African, Asian American and HBCU Vice President, Kamala Harris. And to make sure all impediments are removed from you journeying with us, Proctor has also made the choice to make its Journeys to Justice series this Sunday, both open and free to all. So be sure to register because this is a journey you don't want to miss. Why? Because this is a journey with a conscious, clear, and committed choice for a justice destination. See you this Sunday at Proctor's Pre-Conference. During the 2020 Sammy Dewey Proctor Conference, religious leaders, lay people, educators, seminarians, chaplains, activists, and other professionals and practitioners gathered for what was an incredible time of lively fellowship, of soul-stirring worship, and of transformative teaching and impartation. 2021 is a very special year as we will be celebrating the 100th birthday of our beloved ancestor whose name and whose legacy we carry, the Reverend Dr. Samuel DeWitt Proctor. Though we won't be able to gather physically, for our annual conference in 2021, the virtual edition, themed Holy Rage, Holy Hope, Radical Reimagination for Transforming Communities, is promised to be equally as amazing as past conferences. We'll have the same opportunities to learn, to worship, to network, and even to shop in the virtual marketplace, all from the comforts of our chosen places of viewing, while saving the costs associated with travel, with lodging, and with meals. So I want to encourage you each and all to register right away and to join the Sammy Dewey Proctor Conference family for the 2021 Sammy Dewey Proctor Conference Virtual Edition, Holy Rage, Holy Hope, Radical Reimagination for Transforming Communities, February 22nd through February 25th, 2021. We absolutely cannot wait to see you there. Amen. Good morning and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference Service of Daily Prayer and Song. Today is Friday, February 19th, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you are with us this morning. Again, we'd like you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting SDPC to the number 84576. That'll automatically sign you up, and we promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to this service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Mark Thompson. Thank you, Reverend Webb. From the book of Daniel, chapter 9, beginning at verse 17. 
Now our God hear the prayers and petitions of your servant. For your sake, Lord, look with favor on your desolate sanctuary. Give ear our God and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city that bears your name. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act. For your sake, my God, do not delay because your city and your people bear your name. Lord, once again, we invoke your presence as we gather for this, our Proctor Prayer Demic. We ask for your mercy, Lord. We ask you to look with favor upon all the people as we struggle in a time of desolation, confronted on all sides by a pandemic and by a police-demic. Lord, we ask you to heal all who are sick, all who are brokenhearted. Comfort and heal all those who have lost loved ones, Lord. Lord, please provide for the poor, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Release the incarcerated. Protect those working on the front line of the pandemic, especially those working for low wages. And please protect those of us in the line of fire of the police-demic just trying to make it home to our families and our children. We live in a world that bears your name, Lord. We gather to pray for the power to come overcome all of these plagues and the power to change the socioeconomic and political conditions that have left generations so vulnerable that though many have died, yet shall they live on, we pray, through us, and our work. Lord, bless this Proctor Conference as it begins its annual gathering, the most African-centered and comprehensive and holistic spiritual gathering there is. And Lord, see to it that we are not amongst the desolate when it comes to knowledge of our history during this Black History Month. Dispatch our ancestors to watch over us, to remind us how they made it over, that we might emulate their eternal vigilance. For it is in our beloved ancestors' names we do pray, and in the name of the greatest figure of all in Black history, Jesus, the black Christ and all the people of God said, Ashe and Amen. God bless you all. Good morning, happy Black History Month. We greet you with a word, a word from the Zulu language of South Africa. Sao Bonani, which means we see you, we value you, we respect you, we honor you. You are, all of you are important to us and all of you do matter. Our prayer warrior this morning is a third generation Baptist preacher from Kansas City, Kansas. He lives by the creed, the way to serve God is to serve the people. His life's work always has and always will be about service to and betterment for black people and the advancement of the kingdom of God. He holds an electrical engineering degree from Prairie View a and University, a Master of Divinity from Yale Divinity School. And he is a third year law student at Hofstra Law School. Immediately following our mighty minister of music this morning, Darian Bolden Jr. The next voice you will hear to lead us to look towards the hills from, from whence cometh our help will be our dear brother, the Reverend Reginald Bacchus. Hear ye him. Amen. A 
Amen. The God that we serve this morning is truly able to do exceedingly abundantly above everything we can ask or think. God is able to do just what he said he would do. Oh, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 oh he's able, yes, oh, 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 he's able, if you believe it, oh, 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 oh he's able, help me say, oh, oh, God is able to do just what he said he would do. Well, he's gonna fulfill every promise to you. No, 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 don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able, Lord. Oh, he's able, help me say, oh, oh, he's able, come on, declare it with me, oh, oh, he's able, one more time, oh, oh, He's able, well, he's able, he's able, oh, he's able, he's able, well, he's able, yes, he's able, oh, he's able, yes, he's able, oh, whatever he says, God's gonna do it, oh, whatever he promise, oh, he will fulfill it, yes, he's able. Oh, he's able, yes, he's able, yes, he's able. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Oh, he's able. I've tried the man, and I know he is. Oh, he's able. Well, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody. Do me like the Lord. He will pick you up and he'll turn you around. He'll place your feet on solid ground. Well, don't give up and don't give in. And don't you bow or don't you bend. Why? Because he's able. Yes, he's able. I know he is. Oh, he is able. Well, I love the Lord. He heard my cry, and he pitied everyone, every one of my groans. Long as I live, many troubles rise. I'm going to hasten to, I will hasten to his throne. Oh, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Na, 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 no other help, no other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, where the shame. Whither shall I go? Well, don't give up and don't give in. Just keep on fighting because you will win. And now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. He's able. One more time. He's able. Yes, he's able. Oh, he's able. He's able. Well, don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Because he's able. Come on and give an able God a great praise this morning.
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, gracious and eternal God, we thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you for the privilege of prayer. We thank you that every time we pray, you hear us because we are your beloved children. You will not turn a deaf ear to our petition, to our plea. So we call on you, God. We call on you, our uh, rock of ages. We call on you, the great I am. We call on you, our alpha and our omega. We call on you, El Elohim. We call on you, Jehovah Jireh. We call you, O oh God, by your great name. We thank you. And we're able to gather this morning to pray so much going on in our world right now. God, but we thank you that you didn't get COVID, that you are not on the sick and shut-in list, but God, you still reign and rule supreme, that when we call on you, you hear us. So God, as we come gathered together praying this morning, we start off with thanksgiving because we have so much to be thankful for. God, even now, begin to just pull back the curtains and begin to show us the multitudes of miracles that you have manifested in our lives to preserve us for this moment right now. For that which we know, we say thank you. For that which we don't know, we say thank you right now, oh God. We ask right now, God, that thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We need to see the manifestation of the kingdom, the manifestation of your will be done right now, God. That is our prayer, that you would have your way on these terrestrial shores. God, we pray that your will be done as your will is done, oh God. Lives will be transformed. Lives will be, uh, uh, lives will be transitioned out of where they are to where you desire us to be. We thank you right now. God, we ask you to teach us to trust you. You told us to pray, give us this day our daily bread. Tomorrow is sufficient to worry about tomorrow. But God, you are able to meet every one of our needs according to your riches and glory. For that, we say thank you right now. God, we hear you petition us and tell us that we need to be praying for forgiveness. God, help us to forgive ourselves, to forgive our brothers and our sisters, that nothing may hinder or halt our prayers. Lord, we need to get a prayer through this morning. Somebody is struggling. Somebody's trying to push through. Somebody has made it to the end of the week and lost a loved one. Someone has made it to the end of the week or surrounded by economic uncertainty certainty. Somebody is here right now, God, needing just an extra push, an extra boost. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh right now, oh God, to enable us to keep on keeping on. And we thank you that you are still in control. We thank you for the great legacy of Dr. Proctor and all that he has imparted in men and women who preach and proclaim the gospel. He is the cause of us gathering together. We thank you for the holy rage and the holy hope on the way to transformation to the justice destination. We ask that you just have your way, oh God, that justice would roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. We ask you right now in the name of Jesus just to have your way, oh God. We thank you for this moment that we have gathered together. We thank you for the voices we have heard. We thank you for those who will carry us through the rest of this time of prayer. Lord, above all, we just declare that we trust you may not understand everything that you're doing, may not understand everything that's happening in our nation, but Lord, we know you still reign supreme. We know that there is nothing that is outside of your reach, outside of your wisdom, outside of your providence, nothing that is greater than your sovereignty. So as you sit on the throne, you look beside yourself and said, there's no other God but me. Lord, we declare we trust you. We gonna hold out and hold on and just wait because we know that deliverance is on the way. We know that your presence is going to bring about joy. Weeping may endure for a night, but we thank you. We're in the morning. We're declaring that it's morning time right now, that it's got to change. It's got to turn around, that a change has to come, oh God, that you will not turn a blind eye and a deaf ear to injustice. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, that mighty, marvelous, miraculous, majestic, magnanimous, and magnificent name of Jesus the Christ, we do ask now this and all other blessings and all those who could step together. Amen. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place and i know that it's the spirit of the lord there are sweet 
expressions on each face. And I know that it's the presence of the, the Lord, oh, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet heavenly dove, stay right here with us. We want you to fill us with your love. And for these blessings, we lift our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave leave this place oh sweet holy spirit sweet heavenly dove stay right here with us we want you to fill us with your your love and and for these blessings we we lift our hearts in praise without a doubt we'll know that we have been revived without a doubt we'll know that we have been been revived without one doubt we'll know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place for you are god in three persons blessed trinity blessed trinity amen 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 thank you we invite you to go to our website sdpconference.info Please, if you will, click on the Invest Contribute tab. You can also find the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference on Givelify. Your donations support the work for justice and the vision of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. We are so blessed and so grateful to be in community with you. Amen. If all hearts and minds are clear, Lord, we thank you for our prayer warrior this morning. We thank you for our minister of music. Lord, our captors asked us for songs. Our tormentors demanded songs of joy. They said, sing us one of the songs of Zion. Lord, we are thankful for this Proctor Conference for teaching us through our black history to sing your songs while in this foreign land. And now as we leave, may we all continue to listen to your voice and the answer to all our questions. May our ears hear and may our eyes see all the things you'll do, Lord, your purpose is unthwarted and too wonderful for us to explain. May we as a people continue to sacrifice for the good of our people and repent in dust and ashes when we fail to do so every day. And all the people of God said, Ashe and Amen. God bless you all. Happy Black History Month. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you haven't registered already, be sure to register for the Proctor Conference. 
And please, please, please continue to pray.